check out all of the rain earlier today around Oklahoma City at the Will Rogers Airport, 6.58 inches. 5.48 inches in Norman, so a new record for Oklahoma City, seventh place for record daily rainfall and the highest daily rainfall for August ever since records have been kept since the late 1800s. Amazing out there and across our area as well. We have dried things out for the most part across green country, a few light to moderate showers across the far north, but that will fill in once again overnight tonight with increasing showers and storms all over again. You can see on the visible satellite picture over the past couple of hours this northwesterly flow and seeing a mixture of clouds and sunshine, some peaks of sun occasionally. That August heat, classic August heat, will come back for the entire week. So those high temperatures jumping up into the 90s. So these are the actual temperatures. And then we add in the humidity, and that feels like temperature probably peaking out around 108. For Tuesday and also on Wednesday. Live right now on our Wade's RV weather camera network, mostly cloudy skies. Today was 81 degrees. We have Bartlesville at 83, 77 in the Bristow area, upper 70s in Stigler. You can see the changes, additional changes coming in overnight tonight with increasing showers and storms across northeast Oklahoma and southeast Kansas, and maybe some ponding on the roadways and maybe some minor flooding once again. This kicks out of here by tomorrow morning, so you can see there between 9 and 10, and then by the afternoon, it looks pretty dry across eastern Oklahoma. Sunshine and those hot conditions will be coming back. So maybe a couple of inches of rain across eastern Oklahoma once again. So we could see some isolated areas of flooding once again with round number two. We're down to 71 degrees. Southeasterly winds between about 5 and 15. That very heightened chance of rain and storms overnight tonight going all the way up to 90%. With those morning lows anywhere from the upper 60s to the lower 70s, including 73 in McAllister, upper 60s in Grove, and also in Coffeyville. Tomorrow, what a change. The heat comes back at 92. South southeasterly winds gusting upwards of around 25 miles per hour, wrapping up any showers very early in the morning. That chance is super low at just around 10%, but the really heavy rain comes in overnight tonight, probably while you're sleeping with those high temperatures and mixture of 80s to the low to the mid 90s across the board. Here's your latest extended forecast. So again, 90s all the way through Wednesday and the remainder of the week with those morning lows from the mid to the upper 70s, warming things up at the noon hour there, 83 degrees, low 90s later in the day at five. And your extended forecast, you can see those hang, uh, 90s hanging on tough all the way through the extended with another chance for showers and storms coming in, especially on Thursday, along with partly cloudy skies, that chance for rain at around 30%.